Hello, and welcome back for Dev Video 15 of Nova Imperia. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. Now, Shannon is around, but due to the throat infection, I won't be speaking much this video. Hello. As always, Matt and I have been working on the code, but sadly there isn't that much in the way of visual changes to show this time round. The code has gotten to a point where it needs a good old clean up, so we spent a lot of time on that. But we did add some other things here and there. My main focus has been on re-implementation and improvement of automatic ship construction for the AI. It's getting there, but making the AI build ships with anything that resembles intelligence is hard. On the other side of the AI, I've been working on trying to make them do stuff, but they're still just static things just floating around in space, sadly. Yeah, not a lot of good visible progress this month, but never mind. We're trying to create a modular system of behaviours where each group of ships has a defined function, and that determines the tasks that they try and complete, and the preference that they place on those tasks. But this requires us to create all these different tasks for the AI to do. Things like guarding a location or stocking up on resources. And basically the easiest tasks to implement, the ones we've done so far, aren't the ones that make ships fly around. We chose to construct the AI this way so that when someone modifies the game, it should just be able to work with their changes rather than having knowledge of a load of predefined actions. Actually, talking about modding, we've made some good progress on that front this month. There's not much in-game to show for it, but our asset loading mechanisms now deal with full mod support for, well, most of the game assets, like images, GUI appearance, AI behavioural patterns. That's what all that XML you saw on screen last time was all about. Right, anyway, enough of us rambling about stuff we can't show you, or else this video will be as long as last time. Shannon, dazzle us with your fancy pictures. Yep, some of you may have noticed this already, but we got bored of unreadable numbers, so Shannon has kindly found us new ways to display our text. Well then, I guess that's it for all of us this time. I uh, hope to catch you again in four weeks. Yep, bye everybody. Bye. Bye.